Hello dear Sagittarius, welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. So after many many requests from all of you, I am finally going to start with some career and finance readings. Uh, they are going to be all about the Benjamins, so for the mid months. Uh, I do have the he said she said spread out on Vimeo. You can watch some of some minutes of the snippets at the end of this reading. Just wanted to say that the this month's he said she said spreads on Vimeo have been very much in depth and also very long. I kind of like lost track when I was doing it, and I guess it's the Pisces uh, full moon energy. I totally got lost in in, in all the spreads, so they are at least 40 minutes long. All right, so please do sh make sure that you check them out because they got a lot of valuable information, a lot of in depth information so please check that out if you want to um so like a sagittarius i am i just wanted to make my make myself even more difficult so not only am i going to start with the um career readings which i have not been doing ever on this channel so bear with me as we go through it but i also decided right before i started the readings that i'm going to use my gaia deck and I've got this deck, I, and I need to tell you the story. This is like a funny, ironic, sad story. So I ordered this deck, I think last year or two years ago. I'm not sure when. I wanted it so, so bad. This is the Gaia deck for those who are familiar or not familiar. This is slightly different than regular tarot. It's way much more difficult than a regular tarot. So this is definitely for those who are advanced. And... So when I got when I got it, because I do love to dive in deep, you know what I mean? I am Sagittarius, I like to read or get a lot of knowledge. And I was just like, yes, I want this deck. So it comes and I ordered it for myself on Valentine's Day just to, you know, gift myself for the love that I have not or had not or whatever. And I was dealing with a water sign though. And as I would go through the whole deck, the last card of the deck was supposed to be the King of Cups. So, you know, the King of Love. Guess what? It missed the King of Cups on Valentine's Day. My own gift. I get a Gaia deck without the King of Cups. So, best believe that I did not touch this deck for a long time. Until now, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw myself into the wolf. I'm going out of my, I'm getting out of my comfort zone and I'm going to do it good. So yeah, it, it, it's, it's giving me a, you know, now I can also dive a little bit deeper. So I'm, I, I still have to read the book over again. I've, I've read it a couple of times. It's huge. It's a, it's a very, very huge book, but it's very, very, it's a good book. Very deep, very deep. So I'm very excited, so bear with me as we go through it. You know, there must be a first time for everything, so... Let's see, what are the messages for my dear Sagittarians? What's the message in terms of money and career? What can they expect? What is going on for Sagittarius? There we go. The hero and the queen of swords, queen of air. Look at that. Some of you, right off the bat, you need to start using your discernment more and, you know, stop constantly being there for people just to be their hero, all right? Like, I know Sagittarius, we are very, very generous. We always help people wherever is possible and we tend to give much more of ourselves away than, you know, if we are on a high vibration. You know, I'm not talking about those Sagittarius who are uh, vibrating on a low vibration that you know always selfish or whatever these are this is a reading for Sagittarius that are uh, on a high vibration that are always generous that are always helping people or trying to get them out of a situation or a sick situation and it reminds me of someone and you know who you are buddy I'm not gonna call no names but you need to start using your discernment this is the card of hero and this is the queen of swords so meaning start to use your discernment don't over give from yourself um, try to be a bit more logical when you're dealing with uh, with people in your surroundings all right some people are trying to you know how do I how, what was the saying again like you give you give your hand and then they take your whole arm like that kind of thing I don't know if that's even in English but that's what we say just 
correct me in the right word here, but that's what I'm seeing. Like some of, some people may be trying to take advantage of you, and that's because you always want to be seen like the hero. Like I did this and I did that, and that could be also like a very Sagittarian trait. Like like look at me, I've done this and I conquered this and conquered that, and look at that, and always trying to uh, protect. Um, portray yourself as like I'm the hero I came to the rescue and this is selling me like you know you you need to be a bit more detached the, the queen of swords is a bit more detached detached from that how do I say that because this is cold and something is warm here so self come back to yourself you know don't always think that if you help people that that you, that that will make you feel better about yourself all right like you need to come to your own core to your own self to your own integrity and understand that you don't always have to be the hero you, you don't have to be the hero just do a double check when someone comes to a, comes and asks you for a favor or something and think of yourself well I've helped this person many, many times. Perhaps you need to either ask them something back in favor or, you know, choose for yourself. This is the card of self. So meaning that you need to stop being the hero and try to help any call, every colleague out that ask you for your help. No, is the answer that the Queen of Swords would say. Like, no, I'm too busy for that. You know, and this is funny because in my Pisces moon reading, if you haven't checked it out, please do check it out. I also said like this last week I have been in the Queen of Swords energy as in I had it up to here, you know what I mean? Like so I was just like chopping chopping heads off all over the place. Not that bad. I was not like trying to put myself in a war with people, but I was just like, no, I, I you cannot talk to me, you cannot do this, like no. So yeah, that's choosing for yourself and choosing for your own peace of mind. This this woman is in a meditative state. She is, she knows who she are. She knows her value, and it do, it should not be put on her by the amount of by how many people you help with your generosity. All right. So ten of cups. That's lovely. I had the feeling that you would have that you would get the Ten of Cups and there it is. So I love to see this Ten of Cups. This means like overall emotional abundance. And that's why you're helping people. It's not a bad thing. Like it's not it's definitely not a bad thing because this is your element. So you should definitely not change yourself. If this is the way you are, of course we are like that. Like I am also a very generous person. I you can see that the readings that I do is like they are always very long and that's just because I like it. Like I love to help people. I love to be there for people. But sometimes you need to think of your own mental state. You need to think of, you know, with logic as in like, okay, do I really have to make those readings 45 minutes long? Well, this time around, yes. But, you know, I need to be logic and think like, well, it, it's gonna take a lot of time. And can I afford myself that time or can I afford my energy that time? You know what I mean? So there is, an, there is this balance that needs to be made. And the best way to do that is to retreat yourself, come to a place of stillness and, you know, let your spirit guides guide you. There are a lot of spirit guides or spirit animals in your case around you. I see three those. So the number three is going to be very important for you, which is also a meaning of mind body and spirit all in one and this is spirit trying to talk to you in your meditative state so you are you're gonna receive a lot of messages from your angels or from your guides and in order to make the right decisions for yourself when it comes to your finances when it comes to your career now I'm thirsty <laughs> Wow, the Ace of Cups after the Ten of Cups, look at that! That is the ultimate emotional fulfillment. You have fulfilled all that you could by for yourself and for the people around you. Like a lot of people benefit from your from your guidance, benefit from your help, benefit from your 
from your energy you know you you are the hero like by all means whether i say to stop doing it or not the fact that you have been helping a lot of people have been giving you so much uh, and that's also true. I mean, I, I never relate myself during these readings with myself. You, you, you guys know me, but this is completely true. Like the more people are feeling healed and happy and, you know, satisfied, the, the more satisfied I get. You know what I mean? The more people say like, it, it helped me a lot. It, the, the more happy and fulfilled I feel about my work. Cause so m my job is to be the hero, but you need to do things in balance, all right? So this is the Ace of Cups. This means that there is a new beginning, something that you are going to start that is going to be the beginning of a new emotional fulfillment, which is which is absolutely amazing. I am completely flabbergasted. This is a brand new opportunity, something that is very near and dear to your heart. And it is your heart, and this is love. This is Ace of Cups in the heart of your reading that it gives me chills. It gives me absolutely a bliss. This is a blissful reading, Sag. This is a blissful reading. I'm really getting very shaky from it. The Maiden. Yeah, there is going to be a new opportunity for you coming in. It's a new path that where you need to start exploring again, where you need to show your innocence again, where you can make mistakes again, where you can fall trapped to, um, to new experiences again. So there is going to be a new innocent path. And I'm saying innocent, it's because it's, it's something that you are not that familiar with all right this is a new direction that you are going to go in let's see what else these cards are not flowing like the other one we've got the nine of swords what's this oh the ace of pentacles two aces Sag, you're you're worried about a financial success or a financial opportunity. It could be that you have been working for a long time on a new financial opportunity and you are mind-fucking yourself. That's what I'm hearing. You're mind-fucking yourself about this new opportunity. And, ooh, look at that. The father. So we got the father and the maiden. And we've got the emotion emotion and intellect. So this is again, <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm a bit lost in words. And we've got the card of wisdom, the card of the number 10 here. So you have gained a lot of clarity. You have gained a lot of wisdom in whatever area you've been working on. And I feel that there is a completion here. There's definitely a completion here where you need to start making progress or start to make a new way in life where you are going to be much more the head of how do I say this can we just rewind because I was just like mumbling there let me just sip wait 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 you know this happens sometimes for those of those who don't know, this like English is like my fourth or my fifth language. So it's not my mother language, not my second, not my third, not my fourth, fifth. So sometimes I get lost. So don't 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 shoot me. Don't shoot me. Alright, don't shoot me. So yes, you've been stressed out about this new opportunity because I feel that you are going to have a higher position in whatever area you are in. You might be a becoming a CEO or someone that has a lot of responsibilities, but it tells me that you are actually ready for it. Like this father figure, this emperor just is sitting there looking like, bring it on, I'm chill. Like, what do you have to tell me? Okay, yeah, we'll fix that. Good. So don't don't doubt yourself because I feel like the doubt that you have about yourself is also very internal. You don't really tell that to other people because you have to maintain yourself as the big hero, all right? You're the one that people always come to when they need guidance, when they need like um advice. So you have this um 
you have this portrayed about yourself like you cannot show any weakness to anyone and i get the feeling that with this maiden card it is it is okay to make like innocent mistakes it is okay to be a bit like vulnerable and to you know fall a bit or just make a wrong decision or go into the wrong way of doing things because at the end of the day you catch yourself up like you fall nine times but you stand up ten and that's what that's why the emperor and the father figure is here saying like yes you will make it happen and you are very you're very confident all right you are very disciplined and you are very um structured all right you're very structured and whatever this new opportunity is that is coming it is going to ask you for a lot of discipline self-discipline because that's for, for me the father the emperor is all about discipline control and power and not about misusing that power but using it in the right way and i don't feel like you will misuse it not in this not the way that i see this the only time that that it can be misused is when you find so much enjoyment from all the work that you do for other people that you tend to lose yourself all right coming back to the queen of swords being your first card you get what i mean like like you need to use your discernment and just think for a second like okay do i have to be the hero at this point or do i choose for myself at this point because at the end of the day you will still be that rock you will still be the leader you will still be the responsible one all right so but you're not responsible for everyone's <coughs> everyone's happiness you know what i mean just the same as on my channel i cannot you know satisfy everyone out there you know it, that's just the way it is and that's what you need to learn you cannot satisfy everyone and that's i feel the end of this reading and this is the emotion and intellect so you need to balance both emotionally and intellectually which is again the queen of swords she is the intellect so you need to use your intellect when you're dealing with emotional issues especially when you are helping people you know use your intellect don't be afraid to be a bit hard don't be afraid to you know speak the truth or don't be afraid to be using your discernment when you're dealing with emotionally loaded situations just because it gives you uh, a very good feeling don't exert from your own energy all right but overall sad the worries are unnecessary here no matter which direction this opportunity is going to go in your favor it is going to be an emotionally and abundant wise a very beautiful new beginning and a new start where you're going to be the leader of the pack like you're going to lead the pack here and you you have all the knowledge and the wisdom that you you need and you seem to me to have everything in control here so don't even doubt yourself in this at this point all right so lovely lovely reading i'm so happy for you guys and i'm so happy for myself because i know what this is so yeah i hope this resonated with you guys do leave a comment tell me how what you feel about it and once again I'm just starting so you can drop your criticism but you know we're we're go we're getting there. I just got out of my comfort zone so let me just navigate my through my way through like a maiden. All right? So thank you so much and much much love and blessings to you. Don't forget to put put the like button. Oh, and by the way, yes, I am changing up the um I forgot all about it. Like jeez. I'm changing up the whole scenery so everyone oh gosh I forgot to say it in the other readings bummer okay so yeah I forgot to tell you guys sorry I'm just thinking with myself you see me speaking to myself here sorry about that we are going to change it I am going to start with Virgo this month and each and every month on some on the birthday months I'm going to start with that uh, zodiac sign and the ones that have the most likes are going to be the ones that get a bonus reading for me so yeah I, I, I I'm very happy that it's always you guys Sagittarius but it would be nice if there was like a, some change up because people are getting very pissed off and think that I am you know choosing you guys above everyone like why does Sagittarius always have to be first you're Sagittarius I can't help it you are my tribe you love me you like me the other people don't like me 
but hey you can satisfy everyone right so thank you guys so much don't forget to check out the vimeo he said she says bread it got a lot of good information in it 40 45 minutes long so prepare yourself get your popcorn and i'll see you guys later thank you and bye someone that miraculously wants things to be solved out for the higher good and just just boom just like that that's that's what i feel the conflicts need to be resolved if there was any you know they have some kind of back and forth within themselves or it could be like with other people maybe they are dealing with multiple people and they want things to be first resolved so this is someone that always wants things to be resolved before they can take action on it so there needs to be like a miracle every day and they don't understand that they are the ones that are driving the, the car and that they have the ability and the nature and the power to resolve things you get what I mean so this is someone who feels like too burdened if they would you know um, solve an issue because they don't want to have another problem because they feel that solving a problem is a problem and they don't have the strength for it that's why they they creep out in the middle of the night they walk away when things get too heated for them or too responsible in their eyes and they're just like no 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 i don't want to talk about it let's just like let it all slide until the new new dawn comes and then we'll we'll see whatever it goes and at the end of the day they're still watching this you know this conflict and wanting you to fight for it and you're just like no 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 not this time with this four of pentacles you're just like i'm gonna hold back i'm just gonna sit on these broken eggs <laughs> because i had to walk on those eggs and now i'm just going to sit on them and just get dirty <laughs> that's what you're doing hopes for Saji, yeah, two swords. Now you're gonna come to a point where you want to make a decision, you are going to balance it out, and you are going to ignore it, which is bringing you to a, you know, to that childish cycle that this whole situation has been in. Because